Hey, good morning and welcome to Crochet Vox Tracy here for another Vox chat and uh, <coughs> excuse me, I um, I slept in a little bit this morning, not much but um, a little, I went, well it was I got up and I had tea and everything else and I went back to bed, um, it's Saturday, why not, you know, Gary's at work today so it's all quiet in the house, so that as well, um, made me sleep longer I think because you know it just wasn't the normal crashing and banging and sounds of Gary so <clears throat> let's do the joke before I forget it where are we um oh oh who is it a friend of mine went bald years ago but he still carries around an old comb he just can't part with it <laughs> We'll give it a clappy. Now I forgot to put my favourite envelope, snazzy envelope, as a place marker yesterday, or bookmark, should I say. Why well, does he seem to struggle with that phrase? Anyway, I found my page, so that's all right. We'll do our little acid comment of the day, thanks to my son Michael and his little Christmas present. So thanks in advance. You will do this favour for me. I've already thanked you for it. it was yesterday. And today, if I can get the page over. Okay, these are all emails, I think, remember, on the computer. Sorry for being unclear. Obviously, you didn't really read what I wrote. How many times is that true? You know, when you say something to someone, you type something, you, you, you message them, and they, they come back with something completely different, like they haven't actually read what you've put at all happens to me a lot and another thing that really really grates on me grinds my gears as they say is predictive text you know I know what I want to type I could turn it off but that's a faff I don't really know how sometimes it helps with spelling but you know God, some the times that I mean I pick it up a lot with Victoria calling Harley Harkey and I mean who calls anyone Harkey you know, and anything like, um, you know, every now and then you'll get an O where an I should be in a, in a word or something. I never forget once it was pretty dark and uh, I told, I just sent a message of complete and utter gibberish because my fingers were in the wrong place. I've done that in typing as well because I touch type. So as long as these two fingers touch the ones with the little braille bit on them, the little raised spots, then you kind of know where you're going. But this, I think one of, one of my laptops was really smooth and it didn't have that, but, you know, you couldn't feel it that easy. And I'm typing away and then when, when I read it, it was like, oh, hmm, <laughs> do that again. <laughs> oh, well. Hmm, worse when you do an essay like it. <clears throat> That'd be fun. So nearly time to um, remove all Christmas goodies and... Um, pretties from from here i'll keep the tree i always have that it's like a little lamp i don't always use it but um the tree never gets put away it's just it's flowers you know i figured that flowers are valid any time of year so i keep that out but uh, the rest of it will go away for another year so i'll give you um another blast oh, hang on <clears throat> because i know how much you love this of these there you go instantly as soon as you put them on you get all kind of like cheerful <laughs> i know a few people who could do with these just saying a few youtubers <laughs> who get a bit iffy sometimes and start whinging at the subscribers not saying who not saying but you know who it is anyway um i love this Gary got me this. Um, do you know, this Christmas... Oh, heavens. <clears throat> I went dry, but my tea is way too hot to, to actually um, drink. This year, um, this little mixtape, which is obviously Guardians of the Galaxy, I got as a little Pandora charm. It's so cute. I've got a little group and, and a little mixtape. Ah, so cute. And um, I also... Went out shopping with my vouchers and I got a few bits yesterday, yesterday, day before. Oh, well, can't remember. It all just merges into one, doesn't it? 
But um, I've got a, I've got for Christmas. I got a blue bracelet. So um, I got a few um, when I first, you know, started looking into those blue rope ones. I said to the lady, my lady, slip of a girl, half my age, well, probably a quarter of my age. So I said to her, can you put clips on these? And she said, oh, I wouldn't recommend it. No. I said, oh, OK. So while I was wearing it, all the little charms were kind of always going to the bottom and slopping around and I was forever moving them back. So while we were out, I looked and they had clips on the blue one that was on display. So I said to the, the assistant, I thought from what somebody in one of the other stores said, you shouldn't really put clips on it. She went, never heard that. You know, they recommend them really with this one because it was a little blue clip. I said, oh, OK, so I've got a couple of those with my voucher so that when I do wear it, it can all stay in one place. So um, I haven't actually put them on it yet, but I will soon. And that one has got all kind of sea creatures. I've <laughs> got like a sea creatures bracelet <laughs> so yeah all the blue ones can kind of cut i've got a blue one I've, I've got so many i've got a blue one a red one a pink one a gold one because it's a two-tone gold and silver and um all these different balls that fit on them you know but too many really it's like i could open a shop with my pandora and when you know a little while ago i, I started to think you know the amount of money you spend on Pandora you could buy real jewellery. Do you know what I mean? Like real jewellery rather than Pandora silver bits. You know what I mean by that, you know, when I say real jewellery. I know it's real, but um, it is much, 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 much too much for silver, don't you think? When you look at the prices of Pandora, you think, you know, they've actually raise the price of silver jewellery. It wasn't just them. Tiffany's as well do it, don't they? Like extortionate prices for something that is not that expensive. Because, you know, you can go and get silver jewellery really, really cheaply. It is obviously all precious metals have gone up in recent years. But still, it, they charge gold prices for silver jewellery. And it's, you know, not right, is it really? You're paying for the name, you're paying for the, the whole kind of look of the company, aren't you? But then, you know, if I didn't get things like that for Christmas, what would I get? <laughs> More boots, you know? I've got some really snazzy boots for Christmas, I have to say. Um, I've got one pair that are little ankle boots and they've got eye an eyeball on the front. It sounds awful, but they're not. They are i love them i really do and i got i wanted a pair of high boots again um because mine were getting a bit old but the only ones that i could find had really clumpy bottoms and i've got quite slim ankles and and calves so it just looked kind of a bit like i was gonna break my leg wearing them so i just got normal boots but it's the only pair of normal kind of up to the knee boots below the knee i've got the rest are all kind of um, high. So I've got one of each size now, really. I've got <coughs> thigh boots that are black th and ones that are a little bit lower, but they're tan and normal boots and ankle boots. But nowhere to put any of them. That's the only thing. Nowhere to put any of them. Gary did get me, because um, I saw it on Amazon and I said, that would be a good idea. And he did get it for me. And I said, this Christmas, I thought he was going to wrap it up. So I said, whatever happened to my shoe rack? He went, oh, it's in the bedroom. I forgot to give it to you. So, um, yeah, I don't know the shoe rack for Christmas, but, you know, it came with my organisers, which, funnily enough, I have actually filmed now all of my toiletries um, and goodies that I got for Christmas. Um, I did two videos. One was um, opening and unboxing a number seven gift set that Michael got me and the other one is everything else and that's quite um a lot of different things you know you're there's all different kinds of goodies in that one although I filmed it it's not up yet I'll probably do it around Monday or Tuesday um I don't know, I don't know maybe I'll do it today I don't know it's just that weekends are a bit of a funny funny time for YouTube but it's got on there a bit of Charlotte Tilbury a little bit of um kind of 
organizers and there's just loads basically all these different bits of toiletries and makeup and organizers and things that Gary got me some of them are quite a surprise so anyway, those are all on rock steady. And you know what? I've got, every time I look, it's inching ever closer to monetization. And I've got, I think it stands at now about 170 that I need <laughs> watch hours. 170 watch hours away. It's just, that every time I look, there's this little slither along. You get this line. And um, obviously that's 4,000 long, that line. And it's right up the end now. And there's only this little bit that's not um covered in and i keep thinking it can't be long it can't be long and then i don't make any videos for a while and i think it's because i'm not making any videos anyway it has been christmas and you know it has been extremely crazy and busy another thing i did yesterday because gary's working today went to bed quite early and the telly was abysmal absolutely so um i was kind of watching Back to the Future 3 um, when he went to bed but um, I thought oh, you know what I haven't uploaded my my stuff on um, my website <coughs> so I came in and I had another order and I, I put that all in my book and um, then I, I kind of thought right okay I can upload all those those bags you know the project uh, the kind of yarn project bags, the rainbow ones, the llama um, patches and the skull only. I'm keeping one of those, keeping a couple of llamas. <laughs> but the rest I've all put on. I put the big tote bag, the, the, the lovely floral one and um, the, the hook and needle case and all that. I've now uploaded those and they're all on my website. My voucher code's valid for another few days. I messaged Chris as well. Um, with a uh, view to putting up a new pop-up so that it won't say Christmas Santa sacks anymore because obviously they're a bit defunct now unless you want to buy it for next year. They're still on there. I'm not going to... Um, I'm going to kind of reduce it down because otherwise I don't know how much stock I've got of them now. Mm. <clears throat> so today I have to make um, dinner do my winner's video and um, have a good, I'm going to go out in the yarn van um, and I'm going to do some work out there. And it struck me the, that my Christmas tree that I got for the yarn van has only been seen once because I haven't really filmed out there. I'm oh, sorry, I've got an itchy nose. I'm full of allergies. I've got all these bumps and um, it's ever since I had those patches. It's really annoyed me because, you know, I've had, I've not had any kind of, breakouts for so long but these it's like i had a line of them in a, <laughs> a complete line it's just like really weird and annoying but um and i had sores here almost like i dribbled and drooled i obviously i don't think i did you know i don't think i was sitting there drooling but it was almost like i did because i had these two sores that came here um yeah I had so many allergy symptoms, including a really itchy nose, which drives me round the bend, I might say. But they've not gone yet. Really, really, really crazy. But they haven't gone at all. And um, hopefully they'll work their way out of my, my system at some point. But then again, I have um, I finished up one lot of antihistamines and I haven't started any new packs. So I'm not really doing myself any favours, really. So I had a magazine delivered yesterday, so I've got an open with me to do. And I did cancel some of my magazines, but I don't know when they run out because they were subscriptions. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just have to wait and see when they stop arriving. But I don't know what I'll do then. I might just switch it up and do another one. Change the magazine sort of thing. You know, have a change. Change is as good as a rest, as they say. So yeah, I could do that. Um, I don't think I drooled. No, no, I don't think I did. But it was weird. They were there was just two. It looked like you know porn star stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't. Although I do have a bit of a beard. You know, um, 
I have a goatee. It's not like prolific, you know, it's not kind of Craig David or anything, but I do get a few hairs under there. And I always think, oh, oh nanny goat more like, but I do, I do get a couple of stray little whiskers. Down. It, well, it, it comes with age, it'll happen to everyone. I mean, if you're younger than me, it's gonna happen. It is, you, you're not only, I don't get too much of the moustache, I'm quite lucky there, but um, I get like a little hair <laughs> or two this side, but I do have a goatee, you know, just saying. I'm not like the woman on The Greatest Showman. <laughs> Speaking of that, you know, I've seen some really awful beards lately. You kind of bump into someone with this, like, and it, I don't know, I'm quite scared of beards. I'm not like I've got a phobia or anything, but when I see a big beard, it's like, oh. Something, something about them just makes me, why would you do that to yourself? You know, don't get me wrong. I mean, there are certain people that have had beards all my life and I wouldn't know what, to, <laughs> you know, they look weird if they don't have a beard. But um, yeah, those ones, <clears throat> all those ones that look like pubes, you know, the ones I mean, it's just sort of like straggly and you think, oh, no, you know, I'm not a beard person, um, you know. I've never been one to like, oh, go have a beard. Not me, your man, you know. <laughs> I don't mean like, I've got to have a beard. I wish I didn't have a beard, but <laughs> I'm going to dig in a big hole. Uh, let's get off the subject of beards. <laughs> oh, my neighbours must think I'm mad sitting there laughing to myself, talking about beards. I must have a cup of tea, calm me down, hang on a sec. <clears throat> Do you like beards? I mean... <laughs> when I first met my ex, he had a beard. I'll tell you this story. And um, he was very young looking back then. <laughs> and we were... I was staying with his auntie at the time, because, a long story short, I was staying at his auntie's house for a little while. And... Um, I got a little job while I was there because living here there was no jobs there was a recession and you couldn't get a job but in London you could get a job so I did I got myself a little job and he used to pick me up on his motorbike and take me to work and there's one particular day he came to pick me up and his auntie Gwen said would you like a cup of tea Steve he went no 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 and every, every time I kind of went anywhere near him he'd shy away and I just suddenly thought ah oh, hang on so I looked under his crash helmet and I said, you can keep that on until it grows back. Because when he didn't have a beard, he looked like 12 and, and he also had no chin. That's what it looked like, that he had absolutely no chin. And, um, yeah, he did have a chin, obviously, but it didn't look. And now I knew that that's what it was, was because when we first met, he turned up for our first date because he was really nervous and he was trimming it down and he kept making one side shorter than the other. So he, in the end, he had to go. And, and I, when he turned up, I thought, who the heck is he? You know. And uh, I kept kind of being a bit, um, not sarky, but, you know, obviously not very forthcoming. And then he went, did you, did you say something different about me? And I went, yeah, you sent someone else in your place. I, I don't know. And he said, no, I, just, I had an accident with a beard. I went, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I think you should grow it back. He said, yeah, I will. <clears throat> so that's how I knew that he was hiding something that day. But, uh, <laughs> I was very young then. I was 17. <laughs> Can you believe I was ever 17? No, no. It's kind of one of those things, isn't it, when you get... Can you remember back <laughs> when you were younger than 17 even? Like, oh. Do you know, I wish I knew, I know that everyone says it, but I wish I knew now what I wish I knew then, you know. No, I wish I knew now what I didn't know then. I would have had such a better life. When I, you know, in terms of what I would have done and where I would have gone and, and if I'd have gone, I would have gone to more gigs, you know. That's one thing I would have done. I would have, I would have gone to more gigs. I would have made more friends. I would have gone out more. I would have made the most of living at Sleepy Hollow in, in the winter because, you know, it was awful there. And when, when the kids said to me, do you want to come out and sit around the pipes? Maybe I should have said, yeah, all right. Rather than, no, it's cold. Why? You'll get 
tiles sitting on pipes. You know, maybe I shouldn't have thought that. Maybe I should have just thought, tell with it, go and have fun. Go, <laughs> go and do stuff. You know, maybe I should have done that. Looking back, at the time I was just too grown up to do that, stupid things. And, you know, so summer was fine living here, but winter was just dreary, abysmal, cold and depressing. I mean, when it gets cold here, it gets really, really cold, you know. And um, I couldn't think of anything worse than sitting out in a drafty, damp pipe while it was in winter. But perhaps I should have just thought, you know, it might be fun. <clears throat> they all seemed to have a laugh. They did it a lot. But yeah, maybe I'd have done more. If I knew then what I know now, I would have had more fun. There was a girl called Hazel wanted me to go on holiday with her, like Ibiza or somewhere like that. And um, I met my ex and that was it. Didn't do anything. You know, perhaps I should... <laughs> you know, if I knew then what I know now, when my nan was better, I'd have come home <laughs> just in a different life. No, but then I wouldn't have my kids, would I say? You know, it is, you know, you could go on like that, couldn't you? I wouldn't, life had to have happened that way. Otherwise, you wouldn't be where you are now. And then you wouldn't have um, the people around you that are around you now. And all that. I still wish I'd had more fun, though, when I was younger. I did have some fun, don't get me wrong. I mean, summer was fun living here but winter was just not fun in the slightest not even my boyfriend then was fun you know he was one of those <sighs> drama 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 anyway why did I ever start looking back it's not this is a bit of a mistake isn't it when you start looking back it was all because of beards <laughs> oh no not the beards again lovely cup of tea it is it's very nice um i had three this morning already i got up and i thought oh it's a bit early I mean, it was only early because i went to bed at one o'clock and the reason i went to bed at one o'clock I, I, I was tired in i was really sort of tired yesterday so um while gary had a bath i went and had a little crash and um i only had about half an hour but it was like a little power nap and it woke me up and so i got up <clears throat> watch Teddy with Gary and then I put because when I went into the bedroom it was a bit cold so I'd put the heating on so by the time I went to go to bed it was all really <laughs> it was really hot in there and I, I don't sleep in it in heat and I thought oh no I'm gonna have to turn this off and go and do something for a while let it cool down so um, I went and watched the real Noel Gordon um because there's been I mean it's been around a while on ITVX that show called Nolly with um is it Helena Bonham, Bonham Carter playing Noel Gordon for those of you across the pond there was a soap a daytime soap when I was a child called Crossroads and it was all about the Crossroads Motel um and the patriot not a matriarch sorry of the Crossroads Hotel was this woman called Meg Richardson played by Noel Gordon and it was on every day you know it was one of those the very first daytime soap that was on every day and the characters all became part of the family you know my mum watched Crossroads avidly and so I obviously saw it um, and when we would come down here for our holidays you could pick up Anglia television here uh, with a grainy fuzzy picture but Crossroads was something ridiculous like six weeks in a ahead of us so she used to watch it and then go home and tell all her friends and they'd all be lapping it up you know me that's a spoiler why would you want to watch the actual show if you know what's going to happen? That's one of the things I always used to hate about the TV magazines and everything. Spoiling what's going to happen in the soap. I can remember the days when it was all kept completely secret what was going to happen. But now it's like, oh, this is going to happen. Who's going to die? What's what? And I don't want to know. I won't bother watching it if I know. You know, what's the point? Anyway. Um, yeah, so I watched this program called The Real Nolly. And it was on for about an hour. So, um, yeah, by the time I went to bed, it was cool down. So I didn't get to bed till one <laughs> because I was supposed to be going at midnight. But I'd made the room just like a little furnace. And uh, I, I don't know about you, but I can't sleep when it's hot. I can't sleep if it's too cold and I can't sleep 
if it's too... I mean, obviously, if it's cold, you can snuggle right up, but and it doesn't take long to warm up. But I prefer it just being cool rather than freezing or burning hot, which is what it was. I don't know why, I just forgot to turn it off. Oh, well. I'm babbling away here in the corner. Um, so I'm going to get off, upload this video, sort out my winners, which is today, and um, <clears throat> also, you know, other few other things I've got to do. Um, but later on, I'm hoping to go out in the Yarna van, and you never know, I might do something out there. And I'll certainly need to do some work out there, because just recently, all I've done is put stuff out there. My new chair's now been put together, but because of the fish tank where it is, I can't get it out on my own. At the moment, because um, the carpet was laid, we moved the fish tank out. It's now in the dining room, sort of kitchen diner. Um, at the end of this little um, corridor, you know, hallway. The end of this little hallway. So you can't... And then there's a freezer in the kitchen that side so the gap's wide enough for you to walk through but it's one of those kind of roundish chairs so i wouldn't be able to get it and i'd have to lift it up and it's quite heavy so at the moment it's in the bedroom and i, I picked cream of a what well, color for me i'm the most i was gonna say <laughs> i was gonna say i'm the most dirtiest person in the world but that just has so many connotations doesn't it when i mean i'm just grubby oh that's even worse um, when I was a child, my mum wouldn't have, well, every time she put me in white, by the end of the day, it would be black because, you know, I'm a spiller. Um, <laughs> oh, I think you guys know what I mean, though, when I say that, you know, it's not a good colour for me. And <laughs> so it was looking at, it was in Pandora and they, they do lab created diamonds. I'm sorry, but they're not diamonds then. They're just lab created pretend diamonds but they've got the same composite as the actual stone they just weren't grown in the earth they were grown in a lab but they they're not zirconias which are different they are actually diamonds but not diamonds but because they are they have to be stamped with a little thing so that people with one of those eyeglasses can tell they're not natural diamonds anyway i don't see why though if they're real diamonds they're real diamonds if they're not then they're not you know that's what i say anyway I had this bracelet in there so she she got it out it's like a little chain with a diamond in it and she put it on me and I, suddenly it looked big in the in <laughs> in the cabinet but it looked tiny on my hand and i went oh i'd break that <clears throat> i'm sorry but that would just that wouldn't last the day that i'm not that's too dainty i'm not dainty i mean i'm girly don't get me wrong but i'm not dainty and that will get caught on something and it'll be broke within you know, you see these people, don't you, with this lovely little tiny chain, with this lovely little tiny pendant, and all these dainty bracelets. It's not me. I'm not dainty. Even when I, even when I lose weight and I'm all thin, that would break within. I'm, I'm sure just by looking at it, it would just fall apart. You know, I've got that kind of. I need things a little more robust. You know, <laughs> like Gary, he's robust. I won't break him. So on that note, I'm going to go before I say anything else. And I'm going to say um, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.